Joan Smalls licked Beyonce in video. Says she tastes dot, dot, dot. Dot. <laughs> For the record, what does Beyonce taste like? Um, wow. <sighs> Heaven. <laughs> Every time I watch that video, the first shot right out of it, it's not Beyonce, it's you. It's not. <laughs> you open a Beyonce video. What I love about her at that shoot, she celebrates women. And she's more than confident being herself and letting others be themselves. But you were wearing grills. Was I, that comfortable? Yes, because they mold it to you, and you that kidding? was a gift. How often well, do you put on the Yonce grills? Um, whenever I'm in my Yonce mode, and I just pop them in. Do you remember any of the lyrics from Yonce? Posted in the back, down the fangs of my grill. Brooklyn brim with my eyes sitting low. Every boy in here with me got that smoke. <laughs> <laughs> Joan Smalls is a notorious prankster at the Victoria's <laughs> Secret fashion show. What? That's perfect. Did I have Nothing. On no. Oh my god, he's filming. This was all of the girls calling you that. Wow, yes. Tell me, what did you do to them? I hide from them and then scare them and then record it. Ah! I spank them. When we're doing an interview and the camera can't see, like I'll pinch them in their butt. And they're like, John, you're always trying to mess me up. Oh. I'm like, I'm kidding. So Joan Smalls debuts design collaboration with True Religion, and we're here actually on set shooting your second capsule collection for True Religion. What is the inspiration behind this particular collection? I felt it needed to be bold and streetwear and a little bit more elevated. I always think that what you guys look like in between the mm -hmm. fashion shows and not on the runway is so much more exciting because it's mm -hmm. so much more effortless. And I always thought like the street is your runway. Yeah. And I wanted to encapture that moment. Joan Smalls plays Pharrell Williams for CFDA. Yeah. He couldn't make the photo shoot. So they said, well, let's just have Joan Smalls fill in for Pharrell. And then they told me I had to dress up. Like, I'm like, cool. I love a dress up. And I love looking like a boy sometimes and bringing my own attitude into it. Are you a tomboy at heart? I am. Are you? I have so many scrapes on my knees as proof of my tomboy days. Oh, I'm are we allowed to ask why? It was chasing after boys. Okay. It was running after <laughs> animals. It was ru always running or in a bicycle or climbing trees. Has anything changed? No, not really. I still <laughs> do all of that. This headline, I love, Joan Smalls reveals that she was bullied for her awkward looking body. <laughs> what were you bullied about? I'm just not the typical beauty of Latin standard in Puerto Rico. I was always too tall, too skinny, and too dark. So it was a little bit of bullying, but at the same time, it gave me thick skin and a good sense of humor. And you threw a Vogue cover down the and table and you said, booyah. Here you go, <laughs> boom. <laughs> This L cover, January 2014, and the editorial inside is probably one of the most beautiful things I've ever seen. I mean, who was the genius that styled this? I love the story that we did together, but mm -hmm. you know what I also love? The story inside. And this particular headline, it says, Joan Smalls opens up about racism in fashion. Do you feel like you haven't gotten a job because of your race? Of course, times have... You do? I mean, of course. But we all have our battles and, you know, I don't always want to make this a subject about mm -hmm. the people who don't hire me. I also want to make it about the people who did hire me and who did believe in me and made my career, you know, because it's about people like that that are more open-minded, that are willing to celebrate beauty. If it's style, it's on the Yahoo app.